What is going on guys, Paul James here, and in today's video, we are going to build out this website using Wix. Now, big shout out to Wix for sponsoring this video today, and they came and they challenged me to see if I could build out a lead generation website using their platform, and I'm really happy with the way that this website actually turned out. So, we're gonna jump on the computer, we're gonna break this entire thing down, and I'm gonna share with you how you can get started building your very own website today using Wix. I will leave a link in the description as well if you wanna build your own website on Wix, but let's jump into it and show you exactly how I built this website from start to finish. All right, so I'm calling this site Mequon Roofing Pros, and we're gonna have to start it off so Inside of Wix, you have this section up here called My Sites. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and click Create New Site. Um, I like that they have this Create New Folder thing. So if you start to, to get a big selection of sites, you can create a folder and organize them. So like I could say, these are my uh, roofing sites. And then I could put sites in the folder. But since I've just working on this first site, we'll create New Site and we don't need to categorize it. I'm just gonna click other, but you could go through here and, and tell them what kind of website you wanna create. Uh, I'm gonna show you the way I like to do it, which is by create your website with the editor. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna click choose a template. And we're gonna go through and we're going to pick a template that we wanna start with. I'm gonna come in here and click search all templates and I'm gonna type in roofing and see if there's any templates that fit roofing. I kinda like this template right here because it's simple. We'll go ahead and click edit on this template. Okay, so here we are right out of the box. This is what it looks like. So we've got this vector art here that they're using for the logo, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go and, and check that out. Let's actually click change vector art. So I'm gonna type in roof and see if they have anything for roof. <laughs> I don't know if they will. If they don't, we'll try something else, maybe like home. Okay, so it has this one, which is the one that we already have there. So we could keep that one um because it is pretty nice but they do have some other options here as well like an actual house okay i'm going to click on it and see if i can change the color of it let's change the color to white yeah that looks good uh and instead of it saying green and co roofing we're gonna edit that text to say mequon roofing pros i think the other thing i might do is i might drop pros on the next line here and I might center this text like that. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, maybe I'll even change the color of this and make it slightly different. I don't know how that would look. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think, I think that looks pretty good. Um, might just resize things a little bit. All right, so I've lined the logo up a little bit more and it just looks a little bit better. We can always save and we can preview. All right, so there we have a little preview, that looks good. Let's go ahead and go back to the editor. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do with this site is I'm gonna change this headline here and I'm gonna move it over and I want to, basically I wanna divide the screen in half here. Picture a line coming down the middle and on one half I wanna have like a headline call to action that says like get a free quote and on the other half I wanna have a form where they can actually fill out that. So. Let's start by shrinking this a little bit because it's gonna be a little too big and let's move it around. All right, so I moved those over there. That looks pretty good. Let's just change the text though. Instead of it saying green and co roofing, let's say for a free quote. And we'll put down here, uh, need a roofer. We treat your home as if it were our own. The other cool thing that I like is they have this thing here that says get text ideas. And if you didn't know what to say, you can come in here and you can uh, type in what kind of site you are. And you can say, you know, we wanna do some sort of welcome text. And what you can do is hit create text and it'll give you some text options, which is kind of cool. Um, so pretty nice that it has this built in. Uh, they've got paragraphs or they've got titles. So your trusted roofing company would have been a good one. Top quality guaranteed would have also been a good one. Uh, so for those of you out there who are building a site and you're not quite sure what you want to convey in your messaging, this can definitely be a, a good start. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna clone this. There's this little clone button over here called duplicate. I'm gonna duplicate that and bring it below and we'll say, we'll say call now. 
another duplicate on this and then we're just gonna style it all up. Okay, there we go. And we have all of our styling here. You know, we can style this however we want. So we have a big call to action now, which is great. Now, if you hold down shift while you click elements, it will actually hold them all, which will allow you to, you know, drag and drop this everything wherever you want it. Uh, so that's just a little tip that'll help uh, help you along the way. So I'm going to try and center this kind of in the middle a little bit. Uh, maybe for now, we'll just put it there. And I'm going to mess around with the contact forms now because, again, on this side here, I want to put some sort of contact form because we know some people are going to call us, but what happens if they want to actually fill out a form? Well, let's handle that. So on this left side here, we're able to control all the different elements. Uh, so if we come and click add, they have a bunch of different widgets that you can add into your site. Like if you wanted to add in a YouTube video, you just come over here and you drag and drop it in. Um, if you want to add in a, an image gallery, you know, you just select the one you want and you drag and drop it in, which is really nice. Same with buttons. Like we could have had a, a, a button that said call now or something like that. Um, I'll show you how to do it. I'm not going to do a call now button, but let's just say I wanted to. I would just drag it in like that. I can resize it however big I want. And if I want it centered with this, I just line it up until it snaps it to the center, just like that. So now we have our call button there if we want it. I'll leave it there for now, but I'm probably not going to keep it there. All right, so I'm going to come back to add, and there's a section called contact and forms. And there's also third-party apps as well within, within Wix. So if you don't like these forms, uh, they have third-party forms as well, which we, we may end up using. I don't know. We'll, we'll try this out and see how it goes um, and may end up just using a third-party one too. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So let's try their price quote one and just kind of see what it looks like. So I'm going to drag this where I want it. So I'm kind of trying to line stuff up with the grid lines, as you can see. That gives us kind of a starting point to go off of. And I don't actually need this get a quote thing up here, the title. So I'm just going to delete the title because I, I just really don't need it. So that looks pretty good. Let me uh, go save that and preview it. Yeah, that looks pretty good right outside of the box. What I want to do is I want to change the background color, though, to customize it a little bit further. So let's go back to the editor. And all you have to do is a website's element is broken down into strips. So you click on the strip that you want to edit and you can see here it says change strip background. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click image. And now I can search. Wix has images in here, which is nice. So you can use any of the images here without having to go to like a third party site. So I could type in roof and see what kind of images of different roofs we get. I'm gonna try this one because I like that it has kind of a dark background and it's also a little bit colorful and I think that might look nice. Yeah, that does that does actually look pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, I can also mess with the contact form design as well if I wanted to. Uh, so there's different design options here. You can also customize the design too. Um, so the submit button, if I click the text, I'd like the size a little bit bigger. And instead of saying request a free quote, I'm gonna say get your free quote. All right, cool. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Well, let's save that, let's preview the changes. I always like to preview the changes after I do anything major just because it allows me to come back through and see, see how things are gonna look. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. Awesome. So. Let me show you a little trick that I like to do after I've got my header finished because when we're building a lead generation site, what we really want to do is we want to have this header throughout the entire site. So the way you do that is you select the strip that, that it's on. So you can see I've got the entire strip here and there's a section here that says show on all pages and I'm going to turn that on. And what that's going to do is that's going to put this on every single page that I build now, which is good because that way we'll see this throughout the entire site. This is our main goal of this site is to generate leads. So by having the phone number and the form on every single page, that's going to ensure we can generate the most leads possible. So let me show you actually how that works. You can see we've got a menu up here already and we would probably want to come up here and change our phone number so that the phone numbers match. And it's good we have uh, multiple call to actions up here. Okay, but 
we have this menu up here and we can customize the menu right here on the left by clicking the menus and pages. And we can come in, we can delete whatever pages we don't want. Right now these pages are anchoring. They're called an anchor link. And what that means is that it's anchoring to a different section on the site. So right now their services are linking down here to right here. And if I click about, that's linking down here. So this is essentially a one page website. But when you're building a lead generation website, sometimes you wanna have more than one page. So what if I want to add in, let's say a residential page. So what I could do is I could click add page and I will call this residential. I'll click done. It'll add it to our menu up there, but what if I don't want it under there? What if I want this under services? All I have to do is pull it to the right like that and it'll put that under the residential, um, it'll put under the services tab, the hover over. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can see we've got different settings here, SEO settings and uh, different things like that that we can go through and mess with. But now our page is added. So up here, I can switch between pages. So we were on our home page, which I'll go back to so you can see this is the home page. And now if I come up here to this arrow, we'll go to our residential page. And you can see how it carried over our header there because we set it up to do that. Now it is also important to use this little mobile view up here every time you make a major change like to the header. I should have done that first, um, but it actually looks good. So looks great on mobile as well, which is really nice. I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to desktop and now I can start working on my residential page. So let's say I wanna put in a new section. Let's go click add. And let's just look at some of the different sections that they have in here. So I wanna add in a new strip. So we've got a, a little thing here about services. Let's just, uh, let's drag this down here. Okay, we're obviously not gonna leave a flower. We'll go and uh, change this image to something that is a little bit more about roofing. So let's type in roofer, see what we can find for an image there. Okay, there we go, that looks good. I'm gonna change the background of that. Nice, that looks great. Okay, so now we're gonna type in residential roofing services in Mequon, Wisconsin. And now I can go and I can type in whatever it is that I wanna say here. So I'll paste that in. I'm gonna format it a little bit differently. Highlight that font again. There we go. Okay, make that just a little bit bigger like that maybe. Okay, and now we've uh, gone and we've customized our page again. We click save and I'm gonna preview the changes. And that quickly we've made a second page on the site for residential roofing services. And I could keep going, I could build out more pages if I want. You can see I've got my drop down here if I wanna add a commercial page, I can do that and we've still got our form here and everything working as well. Okay, so I wanna go back to the editor. And if we come under menu and pages and we click these three dots, we have SEO Google here. And this is going to allow us to edit any of our SEO settings. So if we wanna change the forward slash of the page, like maybe we want this instead of being just whatever our site is, you know, mechwanroofingpros.com slash residential, maybe we want it to be um, residential roofing. We can, we can do that and it's gonna change the end of the URL, which is good. We can also change the page title as well if we wanted to, like we could say residential roofer in Mequon, Wisconsin, and we can also change the description. So that's how you would change all the SEO. Like we could say, are you looking for a roofer in Mequon, Wisconsin? Give us a call today. Okay, so we change that. We can change the social share settings. Uh, what that means is can add in an image here. So when someone shares a link to social media like Facebook, it'll look nice. Okay, and then we have uh, different structured data markup if you wanna mess with that stuff as well. Um, but the basic stuff is here and you can go and edit all of that and start SEOing the site right as you're building it, which is really nice. So when you're satisfied with your site and you're ready to launch it, all you need to do is click this publish button. And when you wanna add your own domain name to it, you're gonna to wanna to click the upgrade now button and then you'll be able to add your own domain name to it. Otherwise, until you do that, it's just going to be, you know, it's gonna say your username, my Wix site, 
and it's gonna show it that way. All right guys, so that was fun. You saw me build my very own lead generation website right in front of you using Wix. If you'd like to build your own lead generation website using Wix, there is a link below in the description of this video. You can go click that and you can get started building your very own lead generation website. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video next. You'll also like this one. If you're not subscribed to me yet, please subscribe, take the bell notification icon because I've got another awesome video coming out in a few days here. Until then, I will see you next time. I am Paul James. Peace out.